All right, how's the sound? How's the sound? A little low? Hi. <clears throat> Hold on, let me put it louder. I'll put it louder. All right, here it goes. Good now? All right, cool. Yep. 20 years. That's how long Xbox has been with us. And like you, this is a moment I always look forward to. Oh, cool. start I with Starfield. The new games, crossing my fingers for my favorites to return, hoping for a few surprises. Most of all, though, I love seeing everyone around the world come together and celebrate what games mean to all of us. And I think, you know, this past year, they've meant even more. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for the support you give us and one another. Xbox is turning 20. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the friendships we've had that whole time. They just work. At Bethesda, <laughs> we believe video games do one thing better than anything else. They transport us through art and technology. There's real magic when you step into a new world and can make it your own. Mm. We've traveled the worlds of Elder Scrolls, of Fallout, and now, for the first time Hold you. in over Starting 25 with Starfield, years, end with Halo. we're creating a new universe. Woo! With Starfield. Exclusive, make, mention it. hundreds of years mention in our it. future. It's an epic about hope, our shared humanity, and answering our greatest mystery. Yo. It's a game we've dreamt of playing. And it wasn't until now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the team who's hard at work at home to make that dream a reality. Exclusive. Here we go, boys We're excited to finally share our first in-game teaser and something to look forward to. Exclusive. Mention it. World premiere. Exclusive. God damn it. Just say it. They say, the wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. You're part of Constellation now, part of our family. What you found, it's the key to unlocking everything. Oh, man. Yo, that this looks tight. Been working towards. Good. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Yo, that looks sick. That's why we're here. Discover what's out there. Told you, November 11th, 22. Wow, B, I'm like a little, little behind there, but. <laughs> <laughs> a little behind. <laughs> so you're ahead. You're ahead. November 11th, 22. You saw it on the screen, boys and girls. Nice. Speculation is over. Let's get to the what? potatoes. What is Let's that? Go. What is that? What is that? Exclusive. Punks. They don't say it. Exclusive. Exclusive. Wow. Look at that. I was right, y'all. I was right. Played day one on Game Pass. I was right. It is awesome to share with you for the very first time one of the most anticipated games in the world from Todd Howard and the team at Bethesda Game Studios. A groundbreaking game. And yes, it's exclusive. Huh. Welcome to the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase. I am so excited and proud to be here today celebrating games, because although it's been an incredibly tough year, 
I am grateful that games have been such an important source of joy and connection. We are committed to forging the next era of gaming, conjuring worlds never before possible, unlocking play across all devices, and delivering the power of games to everyone. And now, we get to share that quest with Bethesda, not just as partners, but as one team, united in bringing the very best games to more people everywhere. So today, we get to reveal more of what's to come. Oh, we have an amazing show, 30 titles, 27 in Xbox Game Pass, and of course, every single console title you'll see today is optimized for Xbox Series X and S, offering next-gen performance, speed, and features. We get to work with the best studios on Earth. Next is something truly riveting the latest entry in the haunting and evocative franchise created by GSC Game World, Stalker mm. 2. Mm. Coming first to Xbox Series consoles and PC. This will be a true next-gen experience, targeting 4K resolution and ray tracing. <laughs> Let's take a look at what you'll get to play when it launches next year. Yo, Andrew replied to me, the internet's always gonna be mad, she replied. <laughs> Console launch exclusive. Wow. Yo. Pia, you're like kind of like the same length Ooh. where I'm at. The same time frame. Little, little little not too, not too, not too behind. Yo. I was right, yo. Clip that. Share it to the world, please. <laughs> Давай, малюй картину маслом. Have you ever played Stalker before? Have you played this before, P? Uh, Stalker series at all? Part one? I can't hear you, dude. With your crazy weird voice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, I played. I played the first Stalker. Pete's in the dark room. <laughs> oh, it's like a better Metro? Metro? Yeah. Metro is so much fun. I never played soccer. Вот ты говоришь, а я прям вижу красоту эту. Не первый год в зоне, вроде примелькалась уже, а каждый день удивляет. Зона надо есть не может. I'd say Metro meets Escape from Tarkov in appearance and looks and, and feel. A little bit of fear as well. Because mm. you get like the supernatural stuff going. Uh, look at the look at the the floorboards. Go, go out of line. That's me. That's me. That's me today celebrating. Starfield exclusive. I'm gonna be dancing with that. А одно и то же по кругу лобаешь. Сам же просишь. Мне музучилище, если что. What's up, Arena? Прошу прощения. Может вам кучёны? Профессора. By the way, whoever clipped that of me saying Starfield exclusive, please post it on Twitter, please. <laughs> I like this. It looks it looks cool. Да пошёл ты. Зря ты так с друзьями. Ты же его на вылазке Yeah, don't 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 spoil it. Sorry. Should I just fast forward? No, I don't want to fast forward. А дружбы в зоне я точно не встречал. Это верно. 
Он мучился? Нет. Это хорошо. Он этого не заслужил. А пулю заслужил. Жаль, что ты так с ним поступил. Мне тоже. Считаешь, я не думал, как обойтись без его смерти? Она не могла быть свободна, пока он жил. Зато теперь посмотри на нее. Нет, Скиф. Я не отдам ее никому. Зона дала мне жизнь. Новую жизнь. Жизнь, которую я готов вернуть, если потребуется. Я буду защищать ее. Всегда. I get, I get dead space vibes from that gun. <clears throat> Dude, the effects on the fire? Oh my god. Yo, that looks pretty good. Похоже, пора. И куда ты теперь? В Припять. Нужно с ним поговорить. Удачная охота. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. So wait, this is Game Pass? Wow. Oh, that's... Wow, okay. That's huge. Wow. All right. They want Game Pass. Yo, they're not messing around. <laughs> Game Pass yo, at all. What's this? Oh, this is uh, Back for Blood. Oh, Back for Blood? Yep. We're surviving here. B, I think you're We you're ahead by is not two enough. seconds or a We've second. We don't need to All right, I'll, I'll withhold reactions for, right, for a second or two. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Hmm? Once you hear my reaction, hey, green light. <laughs> no, I definitely want to play this, okay? The alpha, that's a lot of fun. Mondays. Another day in paradise. Man, remember that guy, Danny? Oh, <laughs> huge. He will hit you like a couple times and you're already dead. Team up with four player co op. It was fun. I don't know for sure. Player versus player, human versus zombie. Okay. Buckle up, buttercups. Buttercups. Let's make it count. Over here. Game pass. Uh, yeah. Told you. You're you're ahead. <laughs> By a second, I'm telling you. You're ahead of ahead of me. Should just should I just fast forward? I don't want to fast forward. No. No. Got solutions. Mm. Yo, Game Pass not fun, not messing around, man. I'm not doing it, Rihanna. Nope. <laughs> She's like, press pause like two times and yeah. I'll be synced up. <laughs> yeah, why not? Try, no. try. No, I'm serious. No. B, try, try. No. I want, I want all, both of us to have the same reaction at you and then you kill my, my reaction. All right, I did it, okay? okay. So be happy. But there's no way to tell. It's kind of hard to sing. It's kind of hard, but man, you never know. Jack, do it again. This song's a classic. I was right. Contraband. 
Wow. I think every game they'll announce here is going to be day one on Game Pass. I have a strange feeling it's going to be like that. Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. I got to give it to Rare, man. They're, they're like adding they, they updates. Got hey, we got we to gotta play, man. We haven't played in a while. We got to play this. I 100% agree. 100% agree. Yeah. Even though there was one that we almost crashed. <laughs> Silver. <laughs> Your fault. An ill wind blows from beyond the horizon. A new danger is coming on the tides. And the one who might stop this ruin, oh. trapped for all forever no, we gotta in the play sea this. of the damned. Now to save the pirate life, you must start by saving the life of one. Mm. Oh no, not the dog. Thank you. Ah, oh, don't get the dog involved. Didn't realize we had company. <laughs> I think we are sync, Pete. Captain I think we're good. Oh, geez, really? But Wait, what? You already knew that. Are you serious? Oh snap! That's pretty because big. Because of the treasure Jack stole, a no. dark here. And if it's not stopped, this world will sink into shadow. Yo. The sea holds many secrets. I was not expecting that at all. New body at last. <laughs> all I can do is show What? Away. From what I hear of this so-called sea of thieves, it's nothing but curses. Yo. Bloodthirsty mermaids. A legion of dead. Wow. Oh, yes. And now, one Davy Jones. This is huge, man. <gasps> they got him too. Wow. Oh, wow. I believe that now is the perfect time to Look at the crab. use these cannons. Yeah. A world without the attack of a base. It's a world that refuses to face the truth. Nothing lasts This forever. is a mic drop. Destroy that. Just with the partnership with Disney alone. And this is good for Sea of Thieves, man. The game is so underrated, I think. I don't suppose, by chance, there's a second one of those? I like this. Yo. The sea of Thieves, eh? This is really Bring dope. Bring me that horizon. Yo, I was not expecting... This is, like, so random. I was not expecting this at all. Oh, and this is a story. Wow. Oh, my God. It's, it's, it's like, in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Oh, my That's God. A month, month now. June or July? June 22nd. Okay. Oh, snap. Yakuza. You know what would be crazy if they put, like, a dragon on Game Pass? Hey, how's it going? That game is so good. <laughs> Let's do this! Reputation is everything. If Ayakuza shows weakness, he's done. Time to call a friend! Yes! <laughs> Game is so dope! Love like a dragon. What the? Happy birthday! You know, this is the first Yakuza game that. I finished basically was this one. Oh really? Yeah, I never <laughs> I never got into the series until this one. On Game Pass. Right? Right? Oh well. Incoming oh, so this is Battlefield. Pete, do you see yourself playing this? I think I will. I want to see more gameplay, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I this mean, is, this, is, this is... This is gameplay, though. This looks... This looks good, but... Wow. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was <Whoa>. sick. <laughs> yeah. I 
I like that grappling hook. That's dope. That was never in the series, right? I've never seen that before. No, no, no. That's no, no, new. No, it's, it's new. Now, they haven't said anything about this game being on Game Pass. If it is, whoo, huge. I don't think it will. I, I, I don't know. You never know. I mean, this game is coming out a month before Call of Duty, so. Oh, that's pretty look dope. At the, look at this. Look, look yeah, at that. That's dope. Can that's you dope. Through your attachments? Yeah. Augusta. Oh, <laughs> snap. That's dope. <laughs> oh, that. oh, oh, nice. Yeah. No, it's dope. It's dope. Don't you first like that? I yeah. like that. Wingsuit. Oh snap! That's a big ass jump. Yo, that's slick. Yo, man, this is impressive. I'm not gonna lie. There's so much stuff you can do in this game, though. Okay. Yes, yeah, battlefield. I like it. I like it. I like it. No game pass symbol. No game, no game pass. pass symbol seen anywhere. Nah. I mean, they still have time to announce it before it comes out. So. Still, there's still time. Still time. Make it happen, so, EA. How was your day? Uh, you oh, know. I can't wait for this favorite. game. Is this 12 minutes. Day? We're having a baby. This game is. For your father's murder eight years ago. What's going on? Shut up! You know what this is. <laughs> you can find me all this time. I should never have told you. I'm out of patience. But yeah, I think you would like this. Did this game already? Did this game already come out though? No, 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 no it hasn't. It's a lot, oh, eight nineteen twenty. Oh, that's August. That's a lot too, but. Oh I snap! Gotcha. Good August, time. Yeah. That's good. That's a good time to release it. I like that. Mhm. Mm oh, day one game. game oh. Yo, they're not playing with Game Pass, dude. Yo, as a Game Pass subscriber, I'm like extremely happy. The mother I can't believe I'm really here. Psychonauts headquarters. Psychonauts, yeah. Look at all these gadgets. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. I'm ready for anything. And man, he is the only one from the crew that got to see it behind closed doors, man. You're, you're muted. You're muted. I think Paris got to see it as well. Oh, he did. Okay, okay. But I don't. Know if he saw, I think he did, but I don't know if he saw extended gameplay like I did. Oh. Not sure. The fate of the. I've never got to see this behind closed doors. In your hands. I'm afraid that means the dead let off his feet. Man, can't wait. The is falling apart. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. <laughs> Yes, if I can find some bacon. I'm going to ignore that last part. August 25th, perfect timing. Honestly, it's about time because I saw it two years ago at E3. This is usually the moment when I say hello and welcome to the Bethesda E3 showcase. We love that we can share the stage with Xbox this year. And whether you've known Bethesda for 35 years or are just getting to know us, we couldn't Jesus be happier Christ. to bring you the latest on your 35 years. We that's, that's, started this showcase with my good time. friend Todd Howard, who gave you a first look at Starfield. Along with Bethesda Game Studios, all of our teams are continuing to work on the projects that have been in development since well before we joined the Xbox family. So rest assured, the games you've been expecting and hoping for are 
are still in the works. And today, we're bringing 10 more titles to Game Pass for a total of 30 Bethesda games. That includes several id Software games, like the award-winning Doom, Doom Eternal. If you're looking for another Amazing. reason to play it, Doom Eternal will be optimized for Xbox Series X and S on June 29th. Powered by id Tech, this next-gen upgrade will be free for everyone who owns Doom Eternal. And on Series X, it will offer improved visuals at 60 FPS with ray tracing, a 4K mode, and an optional performance mode up to 120 FPS. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're in the mood for an RPG like Skyrim, which marks its 10th anniversary this November. I can't believe it's been we 10 can't years. Celebrate it without you. So share your favorite Skyrim memories, stories, artwork, and more on Skyrim10.com, or explore an ever-changing post-apocalyptic wasteland in Fallout 76. Everything you love about Fallout games: custom camp building, rich storylines. The game's got a lot better, Pete. Unique characters. Fallout 76. A lot better. It but it took a year. It took a year and a half to Fallout do so. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. now oh, one great. of the most popular games on Game Pass, thanks to an incredibly welcoming and collaborative community. Here's mm -hmm. a look at what's coming next in Fallout 76. Brotherhood of Steel are the guardians of human civilization. <gasps> Fort Atlas is safe. It came at a great cost. The Brotherhood must stand united. The super mutant threat takes priority. This proves more than anything the need for our justice. I had fun playing it with Reek. We were playing it for like, for hours. You're splitting our forces, Shin. The most important thing is finding everyone that has gone missing and returning them home. So it comes to this. I thought you understood what that insignia meant. You are no paladin of the Brotherhood. I set this plan in motion, and I am the only one who can stop it. That's cool. The Brotherhood of Steel must protect the future of Appalachia and of the world. Your righteous crusade has gone too far. While it may seem that we are fractured, I believe that we are now stronger than ever. This is a choice that can never be undone. July 7th, the day before my birthday. <clears throat> free. And free for all players. Yep, that's dope. Really cool. What the hell was that? Expedition Squad Delta, report. Over. Squad Delta, what's going on out there? Come on. This isn't funny. I know you can hear me. Oh, oh, you hear that sound beat? You hear that sound beat? The pit. Expedition's the pit. <clears throat> Yo, I hear, I hear the isn't the only screaming in the back. world playground with an amazing community. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls Online from Zenimax Online Studios has now surpassed 18 million players and shows no signs of slowing down. Mm. Right now, our players are enjoying the new Blackwood chapter part of the Gates of Oblivion year-long adventure. We've got a lot more to come in ESO, including the conclusion to this epic story later this fall with ESO Deadlands. And with the release of ESO Console Enhanced this Tuesday, you know, you know I never play that game. A true native experience optimized for the Series X and S. You have to really, really like those type of games. Yeah. No, I, I love um, MMORPGs. I, li I like that. But I just never, never play this. I mean, right now I'm playing Final Star Online 2, New Genesis. It's like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of games for me. But I think there's going to be people that are going to enjoy this type of thing.
Xbox Cloud Gaming. Uh -oh. Lunch exclusive. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's a new world What's with this? new rules. Now nothing is off the table. Winning this battle will take a new breed of fighter. Wait. Uh. What the hell What is this? It's like every single cute and fuzzy animal yeah. in your in your like in your little brother's yeah, yeah. shelf. You know what this is? This is like Bomberman, but with cute and cute yeah. fuzzy animals. You know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Play this with a group of friends. Oh. Well, no. Play this on the couch and watch everybody yell and scream yeah. at each other for the next hour. Yeah. It's like it looks like it's harder to control the characters too. Like it's, it looks fun. <laughs> I'll try this. I used to play this. Uh, I used to play Bomberman with like the kids and the wife on the couch. Like two people on controller and like like the other people would be like on their phones playing through Bluetooth. Oh God. Yep, agree. Cool, sick. Party animals. You know what? I'll try it! And on Game Pass, why not? It looks fun, it looks cool, and cute. Why not? Oh! Oh, yes. snap! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Yes! Game Pass, right? As soon as Game I Pass. saw him! That's huge! As soon as I saw him! Yes! That's huge! More. This is a dope game! Jimmy. Jimmy. Try and stop me. Have you played this game, Danny? No, I had. You know, I downloaded it and I have it, and I haven't played it yet. I heard it's so good though, man. Not if I, I told you, this is my game of the year last year. I know, I know. You play this, you will not stop playing. You will be stuck. August thirteenth on Game Pass. Well, wow, you already have it, so there's no excuse. But yeah, no, that's dope. If you have not picked up a game. And you're looking for a game to play? No. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta Excuse. do it. And this is Pete's game of the year right here. Launch exclusive? What's this? August 13th, Kenny. What's this? this man anybody could guess so I can't I love these type of games This is dope. I want to play this. This is really cool. Yeah, Aaron. Shout out to Aaron. Aaron, what's up, Aaron? She says she's liking the presentation. Straight to the point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somerville. Okay. You know Somerville, what? Somerville, 2022. I, I want to play this. This looks interesting. It looks really dope. Outside sequel to inside. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. This holiday marks the Here we go. 20th anniversary of Xbox. Ladies and gentlemen, the time the we've been waiting for. Oh my God, it's time. To our millions of passionate fans, thank you. We wouldn't be here without Ooh. all of you. This is it. Our goal has always been to bring players together. And for the first time, we're thrilled to offer our entire multiplayer experience to all players across Xbox and PC with no barriers. Halo Infinite Multiplayer will be free to play.
Yes. And invite more of you than ever before to become here we go, a boys and girls. hero. Oh my God. I'm excited to be here with Joseph Staten, the creative director of Legend. Halo Infinite. Legend. From helping craft the original Halo Combat Evolve to leading the fan favorite Halo 3 ODST, Joseph is a Halo visionary. It is so great to have him back with Halo. Thank you, Bonnie. And hey, everybody. For us, and I hope many of you, Halo has always been about heroism and wonder, about mm -hmm. fighting to keep humanity safe against impossible odds in a beautiful and mysterious sci-fi world. This is just one part of the Zeta Halo ring, the largest, most wide open environment we've ever built. And we can't wait for you to explore it. And let me tell you, it's gonna look better once they release the 4K version of the video, because live stream is 1080. Uh, here we go. Oh, man. Oh, God. The heart of Halo is Spartan Ooh. 117, the Master Chief. Oh, man. In the next chapter of the Chief's Look story, you'll face his greatest challenge Jesus yet. Christ. But you're not alone in the fight. Oh, the main batteries are shut down. We're stuck out here. Oh, man. Ooh. Give me grunts. Looks so much better, the graphics, right? Yeah. I just want to see grunts. Against an entire army. Oh man. What can you do on your own? I told you. Halo's Halo's another. It's enough. It's not next level shit, man. So I see. With the pistol and everything, the way it should be. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Hoo hoo. Yes. Yes. Ah. Dude. Man, it feels so good hearing Cortana too, man. Oh, man. What happened? Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. What? What? How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. I'm in shock so right now. What? You, okay, then. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good. Something stopped your deletion. Huh. We need to find out why. So. But this wasn't the mission. The missions changed. They always do. Are you sure? This is interesting, man. And I wonder why that happened, though. That's a huge question. You choose question about that. Of course, you can't have a Halo game without a multiplayer. Oh oh. And on Xbox Series Release X, it. you'll be able to enjoy Infinite's multiplayer action at up to 120 frames per second. Beta, beta. Finally, I'm very happy to announce that Halo Infinite's first free-to-play multiplayer season and Infinite's story-driven campaign will launch together this holiday. That's it? A new no day beta? Is upon us. <laughs> no beta? A new generation built to fight. Together, we are unstoppable. Are you ready? Oh, Pete. You ready, Pete? You ready, Pete, for this? No scope. Oh, what? No scope? Love that. And you hear the announcer, right? The announcer? The original announcer is going to be in the game. Killing spree. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Double kill. Woo. Hello. Let's do some damage. Skewer acquired. Oh, 
<laughs> That's still. Ah. Return it to base. Yo. Ordnance drop inbound. Oh man, what you think, Pete? What you think? <laughs> Pete is in shock. He's staying quiet right now. <laughs> Flag is ours. Yes. Please call at your earliest convenience. And it's free. Chris Paul. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now, show me what you can do. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Free to play. Let's go. What? Let's go. I mean, yo, come on. And not a single grunt. It's all good. It's all good. Save it for, save, save it. Save it for the game. Save it for the game. It's all good. <laughs> Evil ah. has survived. I can't wait. A dark figure wanders in Interesting. The east. Very, very interesting. He must be stopped. I tell you this, it looks way better than last year. At all costs. Graphically. Yes! Let's go! That's my type of game right there, boy. The Lord of Action RPGs. Cross progression. Yeah. I like, I love that. Yo, you know what's crazy, Pete? They started with Starfield and already seen Halo. How are they gonna end this? I don't know. Woo. Question mark on that one, yo. Oh, eight player? Oh, that's dope. Eight player. What the hell is this? You're too late. <laughs> Diablo 2? Oh. Resurrected. Interesting. Yo. I mean, there's no cloud game on this one, but it's all good. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm all in. Because you, you love Diablo, the first Diablo game. Diablo, no, Diablo 3 was my, oh, I lost so many hours in, lot in Diablo 3. Where did they come from? From all of us. No, it's not, it's not Fable. This is not Fable. Can you stop it? I don't know. Yeah, she's my brother. Snacks. Be... And I would die for him. I'm really loving this presentation of Xbox, man. This is good. Straight to the point, like Aaron said earlier. Damn, this game looks really good. Oh, a Plague Tale? Okay. Ah, look, I, I already drank the whole thing. That's how excited I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how excited I am right now. Exclusive, let's go. <laughs> it rings every hour, Senor Presidente. 
Far Cry 6, baby. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Let me ask you a question. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Sure, I know just the song. I do have something to say about this game that they need to fix. Time you learn about resolver, Danny. To take down Castillo, a guerrilla needs the right tool for the right job. The video that they showed during the Ubisoft Keep talking. Uh, Is it digital operation? showcase. I got you covered. It didn't sound Cuban, it didn't sound Caribbean. It was very weird, but that's just someone from coming from the Caribbean. Yeah? And Pete, yeah, I don't know if you got to see it or not, but they were saying words of like a high value target. I have just what you need. Doesn't sound Cuban at all. It's, it's more like South American. Yeah, I'm like, kind of weird. They should have Cuban, Puerto Rican, Dominican up? in this Juan game. Cortez at your in my to keep it Caribbean vibe, you know? But the game looks fun, so I still want to play it. Hey, I'm going to say it again. Ubisoft, I would love to interview Juan Quin. Make it happen. Mm, everyone in Yara saw that shit. What? Wait a second. Who brought the rooster? Hey, whatever you need to get the job done, Danny. I really enjoy Far Cry 5. Next time so I this see is gonna you, be excited to play this. I want to play with that crazy backpack here. Damn. I'm so curious to hear the soundtrack in this game. And this is how it goes. Uh, like you October 7th. That, that, last little, that last little thing reminded me of like Just Cause. <clears throat> Just Cause, yeah. Yeah. Console launch exclusive. Yo, Xbox, you're doing an amazing job with this press conference. This is good. I like this. Straight to the point. No BS. Straight. Games, games, games. What do you guys think in the chat? You, are you enjoying this so far, the, the press conference or what? Totally agree with that. This is good, man. They're doing a pretty good job of this. And, and I'm glad that we also get to see new IPs. It's not the usual games over and over again like I, I love that and available on game pass so that's like really good exactly release dates it's not like they just show the game and that's it no we can see the release dates of this i'll try this slime rancher looks looks decent Yo, a lot of a lot of games coming out next year, man. That's good. August is a big month, man. <sighs> Woo. Man, I can't wait for the press oh, release. Punch. Welcome back to Shredageddon. Here's a new trick. Let's go. This is a console launch exclusive right here. Dope. B. What you think, man? Cause you're a huge fan of this, man. Like this type of game, remember? What was the name from, uh, I know you're eating, but take your time. <laughs> Cause companies try to make games like this and they failed, but what you think? So yeah, this reminds me a lot of Steep. And I'm curious. How or why? You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know what I have to say? The thing that I like about this press conference that it's not like other companies that they show games, it's not the same type of games. I feel like there's a game for, for everyone. All type of different genres. It's not only shooters. It's not only third person uh, action game. You know, like it's different. 
Somebody's gonna say, I want that game. I, I, I'm enjoying this. This is good. This is really good. Holy fluttering whip. Oh, that's cool. It's a good time frame December. Yeah. Oh, that's this year. That's the sex, Sean White, steep vibes. Yo, on that one. Game Pass Soupy. Yo, what? Day one? You're good. What is this? Uh, okay. Atomic Heart. Atomic Heart. Interesting. Yeah. Yo, whoever says that this is not games on Game Pass, yo. <laughs> Please, like, it's crazy. The amount of games there. Is this like a horror game? Cause I'm all in. Definitely looks like a roguelike game. This game looks very interesting, man. It has that 16-ish bit vibe with the characters. Interest is replaced. Sure. Yo. Woo. Game pass. Day one. Game pass. Game pass. Game pass. Oh, oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. I am like. I'm in shot. Oh man. This is a, a first party game. Oh snap. In the first yes. year of Grounded. Yes. Millions of Grounded. players kept busy with crafting, fighting, the pond, yeah. zip lining, flying things. Now, to celebrate, we present the Shroom and Doom update. It gives the people what they've been asking for, like sitting. No, seriously, a lot of people want to sit. <laughs> Pets for when you get sick of your human companions. And of course, mushrooms. But not those kinds. We also got something that literally no one was asking for. The brood mother. She's uh. so terrifying. Oh, that. You should probably turn on arachnophobia mode. Oh, even her blob scares the sh out of us. <laughs> this is hilarious, buddy. Go big. Or never go home. Oh, and it looks like we added achievements too. Nice. Oh, that's cool. That's cool.
Oh, Among Us. All right. You know, I still haven't played. I still haven't played this game. You need to play it. Yeah. Oh, 15 players. That's interesting. <laughs> That's a lot of people. It's a lot harder to guess who it is. Yeah, we got to do a GTR Among Us. I'm down for that. For sure. I'm down for that. And stream it. And just laugh. Yo, you know it's crazy? There's still 30 minutes left. Yo, how are they going to end this? It has to be something big. Look, if you see Phil Spencer on stage, you know it's going to be something big at the end. Twenty two, twenty twenty three. Yo, Game Pass, man. Game Pass, where is that? I'm telling you. Console launch exclusive. Hey, look, there's you dates. Shown an aptitude for applying lethal solutions to conflicted situations. We wish okay. to test your abilities. Interest. This reminds me of like a futuristic version of Gauntlet. Yeah. Multiplayer in there set. too. <laughs> Game pass again. Age of Empires. History is all around us. Those who made it have never been forgotten. Their daring choices echo across time, turning land into kingdoms and mortals into legends. If history was in your hands, what would you build? Yeah. To a brief. Uh oh. Studios, first party. We begin by hearing an old, wise sounding voice, and we see a quiet, peaceful setting. This will make our game seem big and important. It looks like Fable. Now, 
Something must break the serenity. Is it? Will this creature be in the game? No. Say goodbye to it forever. Suddenly, and for no reason, people running. These pointless slow motion shots make everything <laughs> seem cool and should bolster pre sale numbers. That wah sound can mean only one thing. Huh. We must gaze over an epic shot. Wow! Of the <laughs> uh. There should be lens flares. Now we see our hero. What is this? But only their silhouette, because the developers haven't finished the design. Yeah, it is funny. Or finished the story. Or finished any gameplay that's is the actually title. ready to show. In fact, the only thing they have finished... Outer Worlds. ...is the title. Two. What? What? Oh... <laughs> <laughs> that is your spot. <laughs> oh my god. I love the first game. Oh. Oh. I was not expecting that at all. Holy shit. Oh. There it is. Get ready, Danny. Oh. More drinks. Flight simulator for you. Hold up, I'm trying to recover <laughs> from the other world too. Oh. Holy. Oh. Available now, let's go. Release this right, right now, let's go. Man. I'm ready for it. Available now. Let's go. Available now. I'm ready. I'm ready to tree. I'm ready to download this. Let's go. Let <laughs> me go to the Xbox app. Cause I'm gonna visit Pete. I'm gonna go to, all the way to Switzerland. Whoa. Can I can I download this? Available now. There you go. July twenty seventh. Jesus Christ! I gotta wait a month. <laughs> <laughs> Top Gun. I know that music anywhere. Wait, what? An actual game? Yep, that's Maverick's helmet. No, it's the expansion. Ah, nice. I dig that. That'd that's, be cool. That that that's that's smart. Very smart. That's super dope. I like that. Bro. They're not effing around this time, though. No. Uh oh. I think this is Forza. Forza Horizon. Live in the Mexico. Music and thing that is. I it hear is. it. AMG. I see it. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, Horizon? No joke. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Hold up. I'm coming out of me, 
I'm ready, yo. Release this this year. November, October. Let's go. And you know what? October. Let's go with October. Perfect time to release it. Right before Halo. Day one game pass. It's Mexico. It's saying September. September is a good month, too. Gives it two months of baking. Yeah. November. Okay. Oh, November? That's ballsy right there. A couple weeks before Halo. Huh. Interesting. Hello, I'm Mike Brown, creative director at Playground Games, and I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. Oh, man. Horizon is known for fun, freedom, and beauty. This year, the Horizon Festival arrives in beautiful, diverse Mexico. This is the largest and most diverse open world ever in a Forza Horizon game. And there is no better car to explore it than the stunning AMG Project One Forza Edition. Mm. Rendered in unparalleled detail and with ray tracing in Forza Vista, thanks to the power of the Xbox Series consoles. Is this going to be only next gen? I've invited along some of the team to help give you a taste of some of the amazing content that's waiting for you in Forza Horizon 5. Please welcome Bill, Maddie, Sierra, and Don from the Forza team. Hey, Mike. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, everyone. Hey, what's up, Mike? And we also have Abraham with us as well. He's one of the talented actors who will be appearing in the game. Bienvenidos a Mexico. Yes! I to show you what we've been working on. We begin we in the rainforest. Got to love the Latinos, man. This is Let's a go. New campaign mode in which you set out on an adventurous journey across Mexico to explore new locations and discover places for the festival to yeah. expand. I'm on the river now. We're getting close. There you are. How's the expedition going? I'm racing a car through the Mexican jungle, Rami. Doesn't get much better than this. I can see some ruins up ahead. Bienvenida al Smal. Look out for the flamingos. This city is still a jewel of Mayan architecture. That's a peek at our adventurous campaign. But Forza Horizon has always been a game that's best enjoyed with others. Let's go and see what some of our other players are up to. The Xbox Series consoles allow us to capture every last detail, right down to the individual needles on these Choya cactus. The scene looks real, but there are no tricks. This is in-game. Maddie is behind Yo, the wheel Pete. of the AMG Project One Forza Edition that looks in dope. Mexico's lush living oh. desert. The perfect place to meet up with friends and head out for a drive. Yo, it looks beautiful. Thanks to the next generation of our Horizon Live servers, everyone else we see here are real players. And it looks like Maddie has been joined by some other members of the Forza team. Let's leave Maddie for a moment and head out to the coast and meet Don. Don is already on the move, exploring this idyllic seaside town. Aww. This is a recreation of Mexico that is honest, authentic, and filled with love. It feels Speaking good seeing this one. Oh, hey, what's up? This is a mural by Mexican artist Farid Rueda. Just one of the many beautiful, faithful pieces of Mexico you'll find all over Forza Horizon 5. Yo, as a Latino, it feels Don good seeing this, man. Beach, we'll jump over to the Gran Caldera it feels volcano. really good seeing this. Check out this geology detail, implemented with precision accuracy using photogrammetry data captured on location atop an active Mexican volcano. The entire world has been recreated at this level of detail. And here's Sierra in her favorite off-road. This trip. almost looks the like they're playing Sierra and friends are exploring in, um... the highest point ever in a Horizon game. And thanks to the it almost looks like they're playing in, in Flight consoles. Simulator. From up here, we can see for yeah. miles in every direction. In the distance, we can just about... You know what I mean? Like, that's how photorealistic it looks. Let's take a closer look. And you know what? You know what I'm happy about this, Guanajuato man? Like, 
is one of the most beautiful cities anywhere in the world. People don't get to a see this, man. Undulating like, city. People only get to see like the really bad even parts a and network of from like the and Latino countries and this. This is. <laughs> I'm as very, well as yo, dude. Like, I'm very happy seeing this, too. man. As we see here, as Don is and I hope this will get people more curious Royale, about Mexico and other countries too. Man. You know what I'm saying? While Don tries to win that race, it's the rest seeing of our this, players man. are still out exploring this diverse open world. Let's head north to the canyon. The Horizon yeah. series is known for its uplifting beauty. And using our unique HDR camera rig, we captured 24-hour shoots of real Mexican skies at 12K resolution. And thanks to the Xbox Series consoles, these photorealistic skies yeah. result in lifelike lighting that dynamically changes every frame, making you feel like you're really there. Here's Maddie again. She's joined by Abraham and some other members of the team. Our players are using Forza Link, the new AI assistant that intelligently tracks the status of you and the people you meet online, and then helps you link up and play together. Yeah. We'll now head deep into the rainforest and rejoin Bill and the rest of our players. Here we see our new volumetric lighting system, filling the scene with god rays. As oh my the God, it looks so beautiful, man. Dense rainforest. I'm saying, I'm telling you, again, it looks exactly like, it almost looks like you're playing in, in, in a flight simulator. It looks that good. Bill accepts and they're seamlessly linked together with their GPS route set. With that Horizon Arcade minigame starting soon, all of our players are coming together. This minigame is called Piñata Pop, signaled by the Horizon cargo plane dropping a payload of piñatas. Ooh, over this way. Gotta catch up to you guys. Our players now have to work together to find and pop as many as they can. Okay, go up here to the left. There's loads along the main road. Here I go. I'll take a look at the bushes here. There's some between the houses. You know is you know what something is though? <laughs> it's actually here. from Vio Piñata, actual Piñata. <laughs> That's no. That's an Easter egg. Stadium, really cool. Because I have one more thing to show you. Oh. Oh. I'm this down for this. Is Event Lab. The incredible new tool set that allows you to create your oh, own that's races, really cool. yeah. modes, and gameplay experiences. Oh, man. You customize everything. I'm right so happy about this. You don't know, man. As game. a fan of Horizon. Forza Horizon 5 is the largest, most fun, and most beautiful open world we've ever built. And it will truly be an astounding showcase for the Xbox Series consoles when it comes to Xbox Game Pass this November 9th. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in Mexico later this year. Yo. Yo. Thank you, Xbox. There he comes. There's your boy. Thank you so much. Uh -oh. Team Xbox is on a mission to bring the joy and community of gaming to everyone on the planet. That's why you, the gamer, are at the center of everything we do. Today, we showed you 30 games. 27 of them will be available on Xbox Game Pass. Yo. Now, through the end of the year, you can look forward to back-to-back -back monthly releases landing day one on Game Pass. Yo, Led that's five strong. five new titles from Xbox Game Studios. Strong presentation. As well as highly anticipated games like Back for Blood, 12 Minutes, and The Ascent. Oh, man. And as we look ahead to next year, I'm inspired by the creativity of Bethesda and Xbox Game Studios. We showed you the highly anticipated RPG Starfield coming exclusively to Xbox. Yeah. But we also have some of the industry's best RPG storytellers working on Avowed, Fable, The Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout 76, The Outer Worlds 2, and Elder Scrolls 6 we unveiled the stunning multiplayer mode for the world's most beloved shooter in Halo Infinite. Yo, this is a strong, to the roster strong of iconic presentation. iconic Xbox shooters alongside Wolfenstein, Gears of War, Perfect Dark, and Doom. We premiered the most epic open world racing game, Forza Horizon 5, bringing you a vibrant and authentic depiction of Mexico in a game built from the ground up for next gen while the team at Turn 10 is hard at work on the next Forza Motorsport. Our growing family of 23 studios is devoted to advancing the medium we all love. 
Xbox has been here for 20 years. Yeah. And that's because of you. Our team strives to make Xbox a place where you'll find the greatest games, the most dedicated developers, and the most passionate community. Together, we all make Xbox the best place to play. Before I go, there's one more thing. Oh, no. Take a look at this brand new original game from the Arcane team at Bethesda, oh, the studio God. that created Prey and Dishonored. Arcane created something oh, new for God. them, an open world immersive shooter that you can play alone or with your friends. <sighs> and like Starfield, this game will be an Xbox exclusive. Oh my God. They're killing me here, man. They're killing me. New IP. Oh my God. Yo. Go on, make yourself useful. <laughs> so, uh, that was fun, right? That's your cue, mate. Sleep tight. You know what this reminds me of? My time in the Himalayas! Ready is later, Dad! Let him look out! You think they can't kill you anytime they want? Hey, asshole! Oh my god, this game. It's like a Left 4 Dead vibe, man. <laughs> I like to speaking Spanish. As though we are witnessing clear signs of cult activity as the locals engage. Hey! Really hope the video was worth it. Everybody, fall back! People need to know what happened. Layla, with me. So he's your companion? The robot? Thank you, Layla. You're the best. Oh, Jacob, don't even mention it. That's pretty dope. Talking about, yeah, cabrona. Watch you, Jacob. There's something. Oh shit! Dev's gonna love this one. Nice. Yo, this game looks interesting. Look, a new one. Yes. Yes, this is good. I like this. Sun's coming up. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Sure thing, Edgar Allan Bro. 
That's a good one. Do you think things will ever go back to normal? Would you want to go back to normal? Not if I still have to pay my student loans. Red fall. Some of next year. You know what? <sighs> I'm down with this, man. This it has that that Left for Dead vibe, like mm -hmm. uh, it's vampires instead of zombies. Yeah, yeah. I, yo, I'm all in, all in. And it is an exclusive. I am so in, all in, all in. Wait, what's this? Outer Worlds two. Oh no, this is just a uh, oh, wrap up video wrap of up. them. Woo, yo. I give this an A, yo. This was good. Love the pacing. Love the editing. Straight to the point. No BS. Just all in. Really, really excited about it. Really cool. that horizon. Yeah, we, we're going to beat. You're, you're okay with recording or no? You, oh, yeah, you have to go. It. Yeah? Okay. okay. I have to yeah, I have to go to... Wait, what happened? Oh, let's see. Yo, this is good, man. This is really good. Gotta give it to them, man. The editing in this, A+. plus. Yo, look at look at the type of games. It's all they announced. It's all different. It's not even the same type of games. And Starfield exclusive, man. <sighs> this is, oh my god, this is good. Thanks for watching. This is good. This is good. Is there anything else? What's this? That might be it. Wait, introducing for the first time in Xbox history. Oh, it's just a trailer. Wait. Oh, the refrigerator! Yes, the fridge. The mini fridge. Yes, mini fridge. Let's go. Woo! I, yo, I want one so bad. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Yes. Yes. Xbox intro. Yes. All right. Yes. This Thank holiday, baby. Let's go. Girls. Let's go. Let's go, man. Oh, man. That that was that was good. yo, I think Xbox One A3. There's nothing. Sorry, as of right now, hard hard to beat. I'll be right back. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. Yep. All right. So what did you guys think? I want to go through the through some of this here. Let me see. Pretty good. A few clunkers that I have no interest in. But you got to remember, they have to appease everybody, right? It's not just the me's, the you's. There's, there's everybody in between, right? Um, no, Craig, I agree with you 100%. Um, wasn't a lot of anything else. All we saw were the grunts, like one or two grunts floating in space and then getting tossed. No close-ups of anybody else other than the new AI, which they didn't name. Uh, and, and 
All right, let me. Master Chief. Yeah, let me. Uh, man, I'm trying to look for somewhere to go. Actually, let me go to. Let me take this out, and I'm going to rewind this. I'm going to play, play everything, but with the audio off. And uh, yo, man, that was. I didn't even know what to say, dude. Honestly, uh, you ready to record, Pete? I'm ready to record right away. Uh, no, I got to turn on things. Hold on a second. Give me one second. I'm black typing something. No, I gotta, I gotta set up stuff. Yo, man. Yeah, sorry guys. I, I'm like, I don't even know what to say, yo. <laughs> That's like, I'm like, I'm all over the place, yo. Any mini fridge? Who's getting the mini fridge? Please let me know. I don't see a purpose or a reason for the mini fridge, but uh, uh, yeah. before we start recording, I need, yeah. I need a few minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, for, the, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Wife and daughter stepping away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, guys. So uh, we're gonna record our reaction, um, now about everything. In a few seconds, man. But uh, uh, let me see if there's anything. All right. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Nobody knows about this, but this was now posted. And now I think we're allowed to talk about this. If you go to Xbox Wire right now, it says this. Get ready for this, guys. And, and I'm, I'm waiting for Pete to come here. It's going to take for a while. All right. We are also excited to announce the upcoming Xbox Games Showcase Extended, this special showcase hosted by Kind of Funny S-Cast and Gamer Tag Radio Zone, Paris Lily, will air on Thursday, June 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific. It will feature conversations with developers from studios of Double Fine, Obsidian, Ninja Theory, Rare, and our talent dev partners from around the world. Thank God we can finally talk about talk about this. Congratulations, Paris. Love you, bro. This is huge, 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 huge. Let me let me tweet this. Let me post this here. Let me put this here because a lot of people probably haven't seen this yet. I was waiting for that that post. Uh, and it's live now on Xbox Wire. Congratulations, Paris. This is huge. 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 Let me uh, put this here. All right, let me put this here. Uh, I'm waiting for Pete. So now you know. Now you know about everything now. Let me, uh, I just tweeted that out now. I just uh, tweeted that right now. Yo, congratulations to Paris, man. Congratulations, man. Feels good seeing this, man.
Congratulations to the homie. P is not even here. Jesus Christ, I wish he was here. <laughs> I could have been talking. So, Paris, okay, for those of that know, Paris is going to be hosting, is going to be hosting the Xbox Games Showcase Extended. This is like an extra digital uh, event, uh, kind of like a, how do I say this? It's like the game showcase, but it's extended. He's going to be talking with the developers and everything. He's going to be interviewing them like on video and uh it's already announced uh again let me repeat this, this is on xboxwire.com you could go right now it says we are also excited to announce the upcoming xbox game showcase extended this special showcase hosted by kind of funny s cast and gamertag radio's own paris paris lily will air on thursday june 17th at 10 a.m pacific Pete, the news is out, man. Hey, you're muted. I can't hear you. Nice. The, the news is out. Um, now we can now talk about it. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> so uh, I'm very I'm very proud, man. I'm very proud to see this, man. Uh, all right. So now you know, guys. Now you know. Why where was the news? And where was the news posted? It's on Xbox Wired, XboxWired.com. I'll, I'll post a link on the, okay. in the chat. Let me. I'll, I'll post a link in the chat. It's uh, it's right here. It's in the chat. Oh, I see it. <clears throat> yeah. I just saw that you posted it. So yeah, yeah. It's uh, Xbox Games Showcase Extended. It's called. Um, and this is going to be, and we're going to cold stream that. Uh, we'll watch it here on GTR on Thursday. Thursday at 10 a.m. in the morning. It's exciting. It's an exciting time to, to be a content creator, to be a fan of GTR. Um, really big. Really, really big. Woo! Now I don't even know if he's here. Is he even here? Uh, I don't know. Let me uh put in the in the Discord channel so people can see it. Give me one second, guys. I put it. Oh, you okay. did? There he is. Oh. No, I think we both did. Oh, I haven't, I haven't posted. I haven't, I haven't posted at all. Let me see. You did. No, somebody did. Actually, uh, somebody did right before I did with uh, under the GTR, so it might have been him. I, uh, in the, the, I don't even see it. In the GTR in the in the chat. No, no, I'm talking about Discord, man. Uh, Discord, I got Discord, it. Discord. Yeah, I'm gonna post. You're gonna put it up. Put it up? Okay, all right, cool. cool yeah this is dope all right so did he change interesting hold on what's up i just realized he changed his who i guess that's just his friendly name never mind never mind because you can at paris that's just his server name okay got it never mind i thought something mysterious it happened all right well we're gonna record here real quick for the podcast this is gonna be live uh because it's very late over there right pete what time is it over there now uh 8 30 8 30 8 30 all right so let me get my recorder here Woo! a lot of a lot of news and now this news to the whole paris thing jesus man what a... this is nuts <laughs> This is nuts. Yeah, Paris has Paris been in? I haven't. I haven't seen him posting anything. Let me see. Let me double check. Oh no, he hasn't posted anything. No, no, no. Nah, nah, he's quiet. He's he's very he's very quiet right now. 
I don't even know he has if he's seen it yet. You know, I don't know if he's seen the the link or anything. I'm sure his phone has exploded right now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all good. Yeah, this is huge. All right, so let me know when you're. Oh, he's talking at uh, kind of funny right now. Oh, okay, okay, I see. That's why. That okay. probably one. Okay. All right, it's cool. All right, let's uh, let's record. <clears throat> All right, this is what episode is this? Um, eleven thirty-eight. Yeah, eleven thirty-eight. I'm gonna post this right away on mm -hmm. the show. All right, cool. Well, tell them, tell them we say hello from here, <laughs> from here. You know. Check, check, test, test, test. Check, check, test. Holy shit, why is it so loud? <clears throat> What's check, so loud? Check, check, check. Oh, my audio. It's, it's like super loud here. Check, check, check. Check, mm -hmm. check, check. Okay. All right. I am recording. Yeah, let me record. And going on. All right. And five, four, three, two, one. Sync. All right, welcome to a special episode of Gamer Tag Radio. This is episode 1138, and this is your host, Danny Pena, and also joining me for this special podcast. No more solo episodes. We have Pete Rock <laughs> in the house. Pete! What's up, dude? What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? Good. Lot How of, you doing? The, ex the, the excitement is palpable. Uh, we just finished watching the, the Microsoft E3 showcase for 2021, and I got to say... Mm -hmm. They did a pretty good job. Yeah, they did all right. Yeah, it was it they was good. Right. It was really really good. And actually, uh, we're gonna talk about it here in a few minutes here. But first, but first, I gotta promote the the, the site, Pete. All right, head over to gamertagradio.com and listen to our past episodes. And uh, if you want, go to any podcast app as your search for Gamertag Radio. And yes, you can subscribe to the podcast, follow us, or even post a review. It will help us climb the top of the charts. And if you would like to be part of our family discussion, here's how you can contact us. All right. So first thing first, we're going to be talking about Xbox Game Showcase. But first, I have to mention this announcement, which was posted right after the stream. And uh, and I also mentioned this on a stream with our, with our community there. Uh, I'm going to read this. This is straight from Xbox Wired. So people could uh, go right now to Xbox Wired for more information. But it says, of course, it has everything that was announced today, all the announcements from, from the game showcase and everything. And at the bottom, at the bottom of the post, it says, we are also excited to announce the upcoming Xbox Game Games Showcase Extended. This is a special showcase hosted by Kind of Funny XCast and Gamertag Radio, Paris Liddy. It will air on Thursday, June seventeenth at ten a.m. Pacific. So, first of all, congratulations to Paris. He's not here right now. Hopefully, he will join us next time. But uh, I am planning to cold stream that uh, that on Thursday at ten a.m. So, hopefully, people could join and watch it. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and uh, we got to celebrate. This is a big thing, man. You know, big big thing. You want to say anything about this, uh, Pete? Before uh, we go to our official discussion so first and foremost um you know of course congratulations it this is this is the culmination of all the hard work that that our good friend our brother here has done and and what can you say that that hasn't already been said he is he is slowly but and doing it the right way but he's slowly becoming the voice of of the I guess the adult gamer, right? The, mm -hmm. the person that's not here to troll. It's not here for the lulls or the clicks. He gives his honest opinion. And I can't think of a better person that deserves recognition and honor the way, the way he's getting now, right? He's, he's, mm -hmm. he's earned all of it, right? All of the accolades, all of the, all of the achievements, no pun intended. Um, and and just the props and the shine. Mm -hmm. He's 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 done it all. He's done it the right way, um, by giving fair and honest criticism and judgments when necessary, uh, and then giving you know props 
when necessary. He's, he's, he's again, he's doing it the right way. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm proud to, to call you my friend. I'm even more blessed to call you my brother. Paris, congratulations, you earned it. Yeah, you it's gonna it. it's 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 gonna be good, and it's gonna be a very very exciting to uh, to watch this live. I haven't I haven't seen anything. I I look Paris hasn't said anything to us, so this is gonna be <laughs> completely new for us. You know, like to watch it live and everything. And I told him that, that that's good because uh, we want to be first of all, he has to respect the NDA, of course, but also uh, I just want to be surprised, man. You know, and it's a very exciting time for 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 him and. It's dope. This is really, really dope. Can't wait. Can't wait. Now, uh, so yeah, I'm going to cold stream this Thursday at 10 a.m. Hopefully, you guys can join us, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. So, let's talk about uh, about the Xbox Bethesda Game Showcase. Pete, overall, I think this was the best Xbox press conference or digital showcase they've ever done because... The flow of the editing, the the announcements of all type of different genres of games, a announcing not only new IPs but new new returning games coming back, right? And then also saying is available on day one on Game Pass, like, and then how they ended at the end with a new IP and also with the Xbox fridge, which mini fridge, which I'm excited about it for, too. Uh, it was it was well done. The production, everything was just top notch. It didn't feel like like usually in past during past the uh, Xbox press conference, it's always like there's fillers. I didn't get that vibe at all. I felt like it was just nonstop, nonstop, and it felt it didn't feel like it was ninety minutes. To tell you the truth, it was good. I I gotta give it to them. It was a really really good game showcase, man. And it's really difficult to pull that off digitally nowadays, you know, because still it's not uh there, there's no live events in person, you know, that type of thing. So I got to give it to them, man. What what you thought about it? No, they, they definitely, they definitely probably is one of the better ones that they've done in, in the past, you know, the past couple of years. Obviously, there's a touch of there's a touch of difference because. Mm hmm. We're not physically there in the audience, so it, it's it's a totally different feeling when you're there in the audience and you're, and you're you've, you've got the energy of the crowd and the and, and the fans. Mm -hmm. um, but this is this is this is a different E3 presentation, but it's also a different Microsoft. Um, mm -hmm. The last few years, you know, they've they've been they've been the underdog, right? And slowly and surely over the last, you know, over the last 12 to 18 months, you know, not culminating now with the, the, the signing, the acquisition of Bethesda um, and the entire, entire catalog of, of studios and games that comes with that. But they've also leveled up, to say the least, when it comes to how they're, how they're approaching the entire next five to 10 years. You know, you've got Game Pass, et cetera, mm -hmm. but you've got all the studios and now they're finally pushing aside all of the criticisms of where's your catalog, right? We saw the we saw the laundry list of titles. We'll get to that um as you know, as we go through the show. Um but they're 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 finally they're finally getting to where they needed to be over the last few years. And yeah, it, it happens with every company. You know, you get stumbling blocks, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 they're finally they're finally stepping out. It's almost like seeing your it's almost like seeing your son or daughter grow up in front of your eyes, right? Like mm -hmm. you see them finally doing the right things, getting the right you know getting the right steps to get the net you know to get their future in motion. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely have to say this is one of the better shows that I've seen, whether it's you know online, virtually, or physically. Uh, this one. This one probably I wouldn't I don't know if I don't know if I would ever give a presentation a ten, uh, but this was probably as close as you could get, um, all things considered. Uh -huh. No, I, I, I don't want to give it I don't want to give it a ranking or a rating of X you know out of ten or whatever. Uh, I would just say that this again this is the one of the best Xbox showcases I've seen in in recent memory. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. You know, you know what I felt watching this overall. It felt confidence, like they're confident with 
with everything that they've been working on behind the scenes and stuff that we're going to get to see in the future, not only with games, but also with services. And it feels, it feels good, man, as a, as an Xbox fan that I've been there since day one, you know, back in 2001, it's good seeing this, man. It's good. Cause there, Pete, remember there was some time that we were like, Oh man, this is not looking good for Xbox. I don't, I didn't get that vibe at all with this at all. Like I'm, I'm happy to be an owner of the console. I'm happy to be a subscriber of Xbox. I'm just happy to see this. All the games they announced, there's something that I'm like, okay, there's something for everyone. doesn't matter what type of genre it is. Mm -hmm. And even if you're not into that, you could experiment to see maybe you would like it because you could download it through Game Pass. And if, if, and if it doesn't work out for you, move on, play your games that you like. But it, it's so cool to see this, man. And I have to say... One of the things I'm very, very excited and very happy to see, because I we talked about this during the stream, but when I got to see the New Horizon game that is going to take place in Mexico, and I even mentioned this to you, Pete, that it's good that a company is highlighting Mexico like this, because usually the media will always show like the bad parts and the crime and this and this and that, or you know something that's like totally negative. And this is something positive meant to see. A beautiful country like Mexico, man. It's it's so dope to see this, man. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can't wait to to play Horizon. I, I'm super excited to play, you know. And uh another game that I almost fainted was <laughs> The Outer Worlds 2. I know it's extremely early, but that was my favorite game of the year. Was Outer Worlds. Like I love, love that game so much. And I enjoyed all the DLC content that came out uh throughout throughout the year. And I'm excited for the future. Like I love Obsidian, and I'm I'm very excited to play that man. I, dude, I can't wait, man. But, uh, but I definitely got to mention this. So, looking at this image that they sent to the to the media, and also you can find it on uh, Xbox Wired. There's an image of all the stuff that's coming up, coming to Xbox Game Pass in 2021. One is uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon in June, which is actually June 13th. That's right now. Uh, what is it? D and D Dark Alliance, June twenty second. The Ascent. Hey, uh, what is it? Uh, Sable, Among Us, Back for Blood, October twelfth. Um, are you surprised? Back for Blood on Game Pass, Pete? Uh, I don't. I wouldn't say I'm surprised. I mean, the the rumors on on social and on the internet's mm -hmm. um hinted towards it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not surprised. I mean, it's. Think about it. One of the reasons that many people will grab X, you know, the Game Pass is, is a cheaper, cheaper uh, barrier of entry, and you get an opportunity to 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 tie in and play with your friends. And what yeah. what game over the that's been announced or that has been playable in a demo form over the last, I'd say three to five, three to six months mm -hmm. is, is is still fresh on the minds of everybody. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. You launch it right during the holiday season, uh, October twelfth. It comes out before the madness of Halo, and uh, and Battlefield, and Call of Duty, which usually comes out around the same time. You launch it ahead of time, coupled with the ba uh, coupled with Game Pass, and you've got a recipe for winning right there. Right? You don't yeah. have you know you're if you're in if you're already in the subscription model, you don't have an additional you don't have an additional you know forking of, of cash out. And you get to play a stupid fun co-op experience mm -hmm. in uh, in Back for Blood. You know, we we you me you in Paris, and I can't remember who was the other person that played it. We all played it um, together a couple months ago during the Alpha. We had a blast. Yeah, we had a blast, and that's why wouldn't you want to put that put that out on Game Pass? So, yeah, yeah. I, shout out to Warner Brothers. Great, you know, great game. Mm -hmm. Great, uh, great integration with with Xbox. And Game Pass, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's woo. it's gonna be good. It's gonna be <laughs> it's good. It's gonna be a doozy. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be a doozy. Now, official date for Psychonauts Two, Pete, August twenty fifth. What you feel? Because you 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 got to see this game early behind closed doors mm -hmm. at E three. Now that there's an official date, and I think August is the perfect time for this game because it's right before the craziness during the holidays. It's gonna get that shine, you know, during the summer. So I I think that's a that, this is a good one. 
G- great, great. There's a perfect lot time of games. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of games coming out, and it almost feels. Remember a couple of years ago when they did the summer of Xbox, where it was like every week a new title yeah. would appear. Yep. It almost feels the same, but with Game Pass. But it's no longer like the single A, the double A, or the indie games. Mm-hmm. It's games. I mean, let let's just take the August time frame for for example. You've got twelve minutes. You got Psychonauts two. Mm-hmm. You've got Hades finally coming to Xbox. Woo! Nah, it's up. It's up. <laughs> you know how I feel about Hades. You saw my reaction during the showcase, mm-hmm. and if you've been listening for the last, you know, if if you listen to the show at least for the last seven months, Hades was my game of the year for 2021. Um, I don't care what anybody wants to say. Fine, it released limited in a limited scope on just PC and on Switch, but if you played it, you understood exactly why that game was not just mine but it was a game of year on a lot of other media publications lists you know Mm -hmm. game of the year list and it's 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 ridiculously fun it's a great roguelike if you like games like that we saw a couple of games that looked very very similar to that uh here on 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 the showcase as well we saw Mm -hmm. replaced which looks it doesn't the artwork doesn't look the same but it's it looks like it's got a roguelike action platformer type experience. Uh, uh, yeah, man. That's good. That's yeah. Good. But, but going back to the Psychonauts, Psychonauts, if you played it back in the day, I think even back then it was ahead of its time with a lot of the stuff that you do in the game. Mm-hmm. If anything, the only knock on it that me personally I had for that was the uh, was the camera. The camera was always a little goofy, a little wonky for me. Mm-hmm. But it, you know, but it, it's it still translated to a really, really fun game. And while I didn't get to have hands on, I did see, um, yeah, I did see gameplay behind uh, closed doors. I think it was a year ago, two years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, you know what? It might have been last year at last E3 because I was still in the state. No. Oh, that was in 20, 2019. Was 2019. Yeah, because yeah, I was still in the States. Yep. Um, yeah. It, it, and, it, and it looked like it was a lot of fun. It was one of my surprise hits of 2019. And. Mm-hmm. It's finally coming. It's finally coming to, mm-hmm. to 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 our platforms. So I'm looking forward to that for sure. Yeah, I can't wait. I have to read this because I just got this email from from Xbox, and it says uh, uh, Xbox Bethesda Games Showcase was all about content, showing off brand new titles from AAA blockbusters to indie masterpieces. We showed 30 games, and I repeat, 30 games, 27 of which will be an Xbox Game Pass. That's that's when you when we say confident in the beginning, this is an example right here. 30 games, only 3 is not available for for Game Pass. 27 of them will be available to the service. That's insane. Insane. Wow. Back-to-back releases, monthly releases throughout the whole 2021. That's huge. That's insane. That's, that's insane. huge. Like I've never I've never seen this from Xbox in the 20 years that as a fan, never seen this before, man. Um, also, uh, it showed Halo Infinite featuring free to play multiplayer for the first time in the, in its uh, storied history, uh, giving us an opportunity to build the biggest Halo community ever launching this holiday. I am very surprised that there was no date for Halo. Very, very surprised. I don't know. I just hope they release this on the 20th anniversary of Halo Combat Evolved. I hope. I think that would be cool, in my opinion. But I get it. We're still in the middle of a pandemic. You know, it's not 100%. But, Pete, watching the presentation of Halo, it looks, graphically, it looks way better than last year. Way better. Cleaner. A lot, lot better. Okay. So, I, I'm tr- I want us to temper our expectations or and, not, and try not to get caught up in the moment. Yeah. I do get that. It's exciting, right? It's, it's super, it's, it's like I said in the pre-show, mm-hmm. the most anticipated game of 21, right? Oh, has now. Yeah. Not and and E3, everybody was watching this. Everybody wanted to know what was going to happen for, 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 for the announcement of, of Halo Infinite. Everybody knew it was coming. And yet everybody was still sitting there, bated breath on tippy toes. Just excitement level was at nine thousand, right? Mm-hmm. 
um, you know, what did what did we see? We saw Master Chief. We saw a new AI that's not Cortana for the first time, mm-hmm. right? No brutes. The only thing we saw was a grunt floating in the air, and that it you know it bumped into Master Chief. He grabbed it and he chucked it, but we didn't see any close up of it. Knowing what happened last year, <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that they didn't focus on that. Um, but part of me says, you know what? They didn't want to make they didn't want to make the focus anything else but Master Chief, and that's why all you saw for the most part on that entire trailer was Master Chief traversing that that low gravity area. You know his interaction with the new AI. I, we don't know the name of it, so you know uh, we're grasping at straws if we try to think. Well, you talk about is. Cortana, but it's just it reset. Like it's like everything has been erased. You're talking about that, that- part. That's that was a totally different. That's not Cortana at all. Cortana was deleted according to, according to the video that according to the trailer that we watched. Cortana was deleted, mm-hmm. and she was supposed to the new AI that was there that replaced her was supposed to be automatically deleted after that happened. But mm-hmm. she is still there, so we don't know who or what uh, sent in the request or the command to delete Cortana, and then what happened? Why didn't? the new AI get deleted. Mm -hmm. And so that is what the new mission is going to be. You know, we saw him pick up, we saw the pistol. Mm -hmm. You had me at pistol. We saw him with the BR. You had me at BR. You saw him put the slot in the back of the head. So now the new AI is part of master chief. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we saw the grappling hook. We don't know if that's going to be thing. We saw multiplayer is now going to be free to play. So official confirmation mm-hmm. campaign will debut in the holiday season, but the, like you said, there was no exact date given. Um, will it be the fifteenth of November, which is when the original CE launched? That's what I hope so. That would be cool if they get managed to do that. That would make sense, especially because it is it'll be the twentieth anniversary. That would be the ideal opportunity. I know last year was, we were hoping that because it would be the you know the twentieth anniversary, the official of the original Xbox or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but this being the 20th anniversary makes sense. It, it, it makes sense. It yeah. makes sense if, if 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 Microsoft and 343 were to say, "Let's do this." Yeah. Uh, so it, it all it all points to, you know, you saw the confidence in Joe Staten. So it it looks like he, you know, what he was brought in to do is working, right? 100. You know, his, his. So that is, you know, the, again, the confidence that they showed in the trailer. Or it's actually the, the conference he showed throughout the show, but most specifically towards Halo, because again, I hate to sound like a broken record, but that is the thing that everybody was waiting to see. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't want to say 10 out of 10 trailer of the show. Um, definitely got me excited. I was sitting there mouth wide open, you know, looking like a, looking like a buffoon just, you know, in, in the camera, mm-hmm. but it got me it got the heart pumping it got the excitement going which is what that what that moment was designed to do get everybody excited and and get the blood rushing mm-hmm. for halo infinite coming this holiday season no totally agree totally agree with that and i'm going to make read another thing here it says six huge games released in 6 months all day day one on xbox game pass two exclusive bethesda games so, which is Starfield, which is coming out next year. Not surprised about that, but I like that in bold. And they started the show with Starfield, saying Xbox exclusive. Uh, that was a, a huge, huge thing to see. I, I'm excited. Now, Pete, Redfall, this coming out summer of 2022, exclusive to uh, Xbox Series X and S and PC. That that's one thing I have to say before we talk about that game is now you getting to see a lot of the games that at the bottom of the trailer it says Xbox Series X S like it's for the new consoles it's not for Xbox 1 usually companies will say here's the game trailer everybody's excited everybody's thinking it's going to be next gen but then later they release a, a press release or they do an interview saying oh it's also for for the older console and the new console I'm glad to see that Xbox is saying, no, 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 no. This is for the new consoles and it's at the bottom, which is, if you think about it, it's the perfect timing because Matt Booty back in January of last year said that 
they're going to have cross cross gen games for at least two years. Twenty twenty two is year two for the console, and that's like the perfect time. Like, okay, we're moving on. Now is let's stick with the new consoles and PC. I think that's the right thing instead of doing this like hitting and not saying much until it gets closer to the release. I think this is the right way to communicate the perfect way to communicate to the consumers. I think, you know, but, but the question I was going to ask you was a Redfall. It has that left for dead vibe for players. It looks, it looks very, very intense, but instead of zombies it's vampires, right? It looks really good. And it's a first person shooter. And this is from the team behind prey and dishonored. And uh, it's coming out in 2022. Also, let's not forget. Yeah. Let's not forget. Mm-hmm. They're also the developer of Deathloop. Yeah. Which hasn't come out yet. Mm-hmm. So, you know. That's dope. As soon as he said Arcane, it got my attention, right? Because mm-hmm. we've seen what Arcane can do. Arcane, Arcane is one of those studios, although they have, you know, they don't have the 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 full, you know, the full the full swath of of catalog games of 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 experience the ones that they do have mm-hmm. have been have done very very well yeah right mm-hmm. so i'm looking forward to playing that one i love the co-op experience i think i think and i've said this before i think the zombie genre is a little washed i think it's a good time to go for a different type of meta for games like this and it's good to see that they said you know we're not going to go with the tried and true zombie experience everybody else is doing that Mm-hmm. Again, we see Back for Blood at the at the at the top of the show, you know that you know they're they're coming. Why do why do what everybody else is doing? And Arcane has always shown that they they do what everybody else is not doing, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. They went in a different in a different direction, and we saw the reaction from not just us but everybody in the chat, etc. So yeah, that's that's definitely going to be another one. I loved uh, I loved the the color of. The characters, I love the hair mm-hmm. mechanics that they used. Beautiful. They finally they finally got away from the standard afro and the standard cornrow BS that every game developer has always done. They finally gave a character of color some actual hair of color that's yes. been missing yes. from gameplay. By the I way, the fact that by the they, way, she she reminds me in, so much of Rihanna, one of the characters from, from Red Bull. The hair looks exactly like hers. That's why I was like that. Dude. I was like, wow. It's Rihanna's right <laughs> been doing clothes. some character modeling for Arcane. She's been doing some character modeling for for Arcane. Yeah. Shout out to her. Yeah. Um, but it just the whole thing. Um, you know, you know, you had some of you know you had some of the voice acting as well with 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 the with the Latin with the Latin influence as well. So again, yeah. going back to what you were talking about with Forza Horizon as well during that unveiling was you know. Finally, we're starting. Us Latinos, we're starting to get that 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 influence yes. into it. So yes, yeah, it's no, fantastic. It's exciting. Really it, to that. Look, man, it's exciting. It's exciting, man, to see this dude. Like, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I got like I got like emotional seeing Forza in Mexico. Like, it's it's dope. It, it's so dope seeing this man. Like, uh, you know, we want. I want to see more companies highlighting beautiful countries man from latin america but we, we don't get to see that man every time we right, see and something and we're seeing it yeah go ahead no i said we're seeing it again you know we saw we saw it here with redfall we saw it in uh we saw it with uh with with forza horizon 5 we also saw it for far cry 6 with the with the hispanic south america i want to say it's more south american caribbean influence i don't want to say it's pure caribbean influence yeah you, you know you're dominican i'm cuban mm-hmm we don't talk like that. We talk with our hands. Yeah, we were like, <laughs> if you see me with a stream like this, it's because of that. <laughs> it's a Caribbean thing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. By the way, uh, by, by the way, very quick, uh, Doom Eternal next gen patch. Its uh, details are out. Looks like this is from Tom Warren. Uh, looks like uh, Xbox Series X will be the best way to play 120 FPS mode. Uh, so Xbox Series X, there's a performance mode which is 1800p, 120 uh, FPS. You could also uh, put a, t- a balance mode, which is 2160p, 60 frames per second, uh, and w- a ray tracing mode, 800p, 60 frames per second. So that's pretty cool. And also there's details for like Xbox Series X, uh, S. I mean, uh, but this is really cool. So the details are out about that. 
Uh, man, there was like so much, so much, man. So many games, so, especially the indie games. Uh, Twelve minutes. I, I definitely want to play that. That comes out in August. Uh, also, game on uh, Game Pass. Um, yeah, it's 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 cool. It's really really cool. Was there any other game, Pete, that uh, stood out to you? That you were like, you know what? It doesn't have to be a shooter, but something different, like, you know. Finally, seeing a release date for for twelve minutes. That was good. I could have sworn I, we saw this game last year. Maybe it was just because we saw the when we were doing e, you know, the, our E three coverage last year. We saw it and it was like okay, mm-hmm. maybe that's when I saw it. But I'm happy that it's coming out August nineteenth. Um, yeah, seeing another expansion come out for Fallout seventy six was actually surprising. So Steel Rain is coming out July seventh, and then the Pit, which is going to be another expansion for Fallout, uh, that comes out twenty two. Mm-hmm. Um, Diablo 2 Resurrected. That caught me off guard. It was like, why not I was very surprised about that. Very surprised. (laughs) I loved 3, so I would love to see um, something for that. So I I was caught a little bit surprised by that one. Um, Honestly, I think we've covered all of the ones that really surprised me. The ones that really got me. Oh, I have um, one. I have one that I haven't mentioned. That I was about to mention. Yo, Sea of Thieves and Disney Partnership. Pete. Yes. That's huge. I, I'm happy because that game is so underrated. So underrated. And it's a beautiful game and it's fun playing with, with friends. But having Disney partnering with, the, with with Rare and Xbox, I think this is going to help push the game more to the mainstream audience now. You know what I'm saying? Like this is That was a really smart move, actually, man. So, so smart from Xbox to do that. So that's one thing that I was like in shock. I was like, wait, what? You know, this game been out for a while now. You know what I'm saying? So it's good. Um, Stalker 2. Stalker, Stalker 2, 2 looks really, really good. Mm-hmm. Um, if, you, if you remember, if you played the first one, um, it, it literally looks like they've just iterated for 22 on mm-hmm. it. And it looks really interesting. Um, the one that I'm surprised we didn't see was Crossfire X. They've made such Yo, a big deal that about that true. partnership. Yeah. Over the last year, especially last year at E3, they made a big splash about that one. Yeah. It's huge overseas and nothing on this one. So I, I don't know if there's a development crux on that one or they just they, they had enough content for this year. So yeah. Like, you well, know what? we'll we'll use that. We'll use that to feed the news cycle like in, in a few months. Well, remember, too, they, they Xbox still have an opportunity to. Uh, announce and show more games during Gamescom, which probably going to be digital later this year. It happens around August, September, you know. Um, but I do want to mention this, Pete. And I want to ask you, as a first-person shooter uh, fan, Battlefield 2042, man, your thoughts about the multiplayer overall? Now they show us actual gameplay. It's not the, the typical CGI trailers that we always get to see. Now we got to see how the game plays. You like it or what? So, knowing that they're getting away from World War II mm-hmm. and that whole era mm-hmm. is refreshing for me. And I've said it for years. I truly think that World War II is a washed experience. I'm not a fan of it. I understand that there are fans, and I'm not, I am not the person that, that, that shooter games should be targeting as, as you know, the, the person. Mm-hmm. I've also voiced that I'm not a big fan of Battlefield games. I, I tend to go towards Call of Duties, PUBGs, Rainbow Sixes. That's where my shooting my shooting game allegiances mm-hmm. sit. Yeah. That being that being said, because it's moved on from World War II, I it, it, it piqued my interest. Then we saw grappling hooks and jumpsuits. You got me some more. And then, you know, just Overall, the way that that system in, in general has iterated over the years and it, it's, it's improved, mm-hmm. you could have me as a gamer because it looked really, really good. The problem is going to be is will it hook me, right? Yeah. Will it hook me? Will it hook others? Because, and I've seen it not just on Battlefield, but I've seen it on almost every shooter title. It all goes in waves of jumps and of, of ups and downs. And it's, how those titles are able to bring those players back after they've stepped away mm-hmm. and no longer want to play it. Yeah. That's that's the true crux of that's that's the true target of most developers is it's not how do we get because we know that that first 
three to six, maybe that, that first three months easy, everybody plays that game nonstop. If you're a fan of whether it's Call of Duty or or Battlefield or Halo or whatever, whatever shooting game you play, your main, you play that nonstop for that first three months, but it's how do you maintain that attention? How do you maintain that that hype and and draw? Like we saw it, perfect, perfect example is uh the division two. Yeah. Big hype level. Three months later, fell to the floor. Nah, yeah. not not three months later. It took a couple months later because they were still adding content. Uh, I don't right, know about that. But I, I don't know you about know what three. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. But but you've seen it with every single title. It gets super hype, then the next game comes out and everybody forgets and uninstalls the game before that. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. how do you stay? How do you keep the players engaged? And that's gonna be I think that's gonna be a big target. That battlefield twenty fifty you know twenty forty two has to address. Yeah, excuse me, has to address. Mm-hmm. No, it's a uh, it's good. I, I'm actually uh, reading people's reactions for uh, about the press conference on Twitter, and uh, it it looks it looks very very positive so far. Very positive from a lot of people, man. Even even people that were always very critical about Xbox, a lot of them are also liking it too, man. So it's really cool to see this, man. So one of the things, going back to the 2042 thing yeah. I want to I talk about, mm-hmm. one of the things that caught my attention was the ability to switch attachments on your gun in real time. But then there's also moments where you're able to go and switch classes because in mm-hmm. one of the scenes, you see the sniper gun, then you yep. see next to it SMG, rocket launcher, heals, C4. Are we no longer required to do four man teams are we just one man armies now yeah that's very strange i've never seen that before <laughs> i mean that's a i mean i think that's a good thing because your is is it gameplay and experience now is going to be a little bit different now you know so i wonder how that's going to work out overall you know but um yeah look I, i'm excited to try it out you know now is there's always been a conversation now ever since battlefield was announced or even when people were talking about it you know even paris brought this up we were like is it possible for this game to be on game pass or what i now with this i don't know if it's going to be on game pass i don't know it doesn't look like i mean there is still time to do that no right i don't think it's going to be and if and if you think that there is going to be that that this game is going to go on game pass I think you're going to be sadly mistaken. I'd rather be wrong for this yeah. assumption or this. Mm-hmm. I'd much rather be wrong now or later, but I I can't see them doing that. It, this is a tent pole. This is one of those. This is one of those titles that people f- throw money at. People don't pay rent to pay this to to play this game, mm. right? So I don't see this. I don't see this game going on a Game Pass subscription anytime soon. Maybe yeah. maybe in the spring or summer of next year, but you're not going to see this up front. There's going to be way too many people playing this game. Yeah. And then you put this on Game Pass. You think EA is going to be able to do their servers right? Mm-hmm. That way? What you were saying about the? You think you think EA is going to be able to do their servers right to support the multiplayer? I hope so. I hope so. I mean, they can't. They can't. They, they, they every game more or less has this issue at launch for the most part. Hmm. You're gonna try and put that many more subscriber players on that title day one. Yo, it's 128 players, man, and that's just one session. Uh, unless they're you, using, and unless... you want to add that many more. You want to add that many more Game Pass subscribers trying to play that game on top of the already massive player base that's gonna be yeah. playing that game day one, day two. Well, I wonder if Microsoft is gonna help them with the servers. I wonder because they did that with uh, with Timefall. And it helped a lot for for the launch of Timefall, so I don't know. I have Titanfall no idea. Or Titanfall two. No, Timefall one. That was uh. Yeah, well, that was a that was a that was an exclusive to an that was exclusive. A console exclusive. Yeah. So they had to. But they, this they is this to. this is a marketing exclusive for Xbox. But you know, at the same time, why not get that support? You know, I I, I don't see any problem with it. We'll see, mm-hmm. uh, unless EA pays for the servers. You know, what I'm saying like right, that's possible. Uh, anything else? All right, so I'm seeing tweets like this right now on on Twitter. People calling it the easily one of the best Xbox events ever. 
I mean, yo, I'm not, I'm thinking like what, I'm thinking what has been close to this or better than this from the past on Xbox. I can't remember any press conference or digital game showcase I've done that is this amount of announcements, this amount of like confidence from the team. I can't think of one, man. And and it didn't feel like there was fillers in here at all. For 90 minutes, that's really hard to pull off, man. Mm. I can't think of it. Again, I don't know. I, again, I don't know. Over re- in recent memory, I can't think of one. I probably have to spend some time, go back through the uh, through the memory banks. Because I've been going to, I think the first time that I've ever been to a, a Xbox press conference was on 2006. That was my first one. Honestly speaking, I can't remember any other press conference that has been better than this. That, I'm talking about like presentation, amount of content, announcements, the editing, the pacing, confidence from the team. Because there's, there's been moments that I see people on stage and you could tell they're not, they don't sound confident. Like, I'm going to give you a perfect example. When Phil Spencer announced the price for Xbox One, yo... He had no confidence now. He was just like, like it was like that. Like it was weird, <laughs> you know. But that was Don Matrick days. You know what I'm saying? This time it's like, no, we got this. Like that's how it feels like mm-hmm. that. Like, yo, we got this. This is the games that we have. These are exclusive. We oh, by the way, we have more studios coming, more announcements in the future. Like, you know what I what I hate when companies do this when they recycle the same games that have been announced year years ago. So, like, I'm going to give an example. Like, I think we've seen, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to mention the companies, because then people are going to be talking smack. But there's companies that will show a game, and then a year, the year after that, show it again. The year after that, show it again for three years. Mm-hmm. Come on. that's re, that's You're recycling the same information. It's okay, too. You know, that's okay. We're two. But I'm talking about, like, E3, E3 vibes. E3 announcements. Here, there's a lot of games that we have never... This is like our first time seeing it f- for the first time ever. AAA, indie games, everything. And that's the thing that I like to see, man. You know what I'm saying? Nintendo's really, really good with that. Of like... Yeah, they'll show a couple of games that we've seen, right? But then sometimes they, they will surprise us with that new announcement. And, and that's how I felt with this one, man. That type of vibe, you know? Um, Is there anything else? You want to uh, mention before we, we wrap it up? Uh, I'm trying to think. What are the games? Oh, the, the Flight Simulator finally coming to Xbox on July 27th. I love the Top Gun expansion that's coming. That's I've, another one. I've that's always, another one, yeah. I've yeah. always been a massive fan of of fighter jets. Mm-hmm. Um, so seeing, as soon as I heard that. Da, 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 you knew right away. People were like, oh, man, I knew Top Gun. exactly. <laughs> I was like, Top Gun. So wait, and Top Gun. Saw the Top side. Gun. Top Gun Two is coming out this this year, right? So it's gonna come out the yeah, same the time. Yeah, the movie comes out. Yeah, the movie comes out. I think it's tied to the movie oh, release. Oh, that's I don't know if it's that's the smart same time frame. That's smart. Um, but that's yeah, smart. it's it's a it's a marketing slash ad integration, and I think it's a great. I think it's great that they went and did that. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, obviously the Outer Worlds Two, you know, announcement. Yes. Floored you probably more so than anything else. Oh, dude! Um, I almost passed out, man. People just called it <laughs> the best reaction at the E3 so far. <laughs> by the way, by the way, you want to you want to see uh, the character from Redfall? You want to see? She's exclu- uh, yeah, she just she's, exclusively yeah, she lives, here she on GTR. You. You're not gonna find it nowhere else. Anywhere else? She she's coming. Right she's getting something over there. But we're gonna bring her over here, and uh, and this is exclusive, y'all. No other stream. No IGN has nobody. This is an exclusive. The official character from Redfall. Live in GTR. She just wants to say hello. Let's see. She's getting ready. Getting makeup ready. Getting everything ready over here. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusively. Yo. I'm telling you, Bethesda. Look. We do it quick. We we get we get the people over here right away, man. Exclusive interview. Getting the hair ready. Oh, man. Look at this. <laughs> I don't have veins right now. <laughs> Wait, wait, let's see. She's going over here. Exclusively on Gamertag Radio, character from Redfall. 
what we have to say how do you feel like now everybody finally announced the game oh i'm just glad the news is finally out and everybody can share my story and play along with me with arcane studios thank you yes there you go that's that's an exclusive y'all you're not gonna find out nowhere anywhere else <laughs> only on gtr yo <laughs> it's amazing down to the hair color and everything it's fantastic yeah yeah all right we're gonna wrap it up here man everyone thank you so much thank you so much for listening to and also watching gamertag radio live here on twitch and also on the podcast apps uh head over to gamertagradio.com and listen to our past episodes and uh you also can find us on any podcast app just for search for gamertag radio we're there um uh, and uh, make sure to follow us subscribe and also uh, post a review it will help us out a lot, a lot. And if you would like to be part of our family discussion, do you agree with us? Disagree? Do you disagree with Pete? Do you agree with Pete? Let us know. If you know, and, what's, if you know what's good. And, and this is how. <laughs> and this is how you can contact us. All right. First of all, congratulations once again to Paris. I'm going to be streaming, co-streaming, the extended. Xbox Game Showcase is happening uh, later this week on Thursday, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific. And uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Pete, thank you so much for recording and also joining me for this live stream. Man. It was a lot of fun. It's getting dark over there, I yeah. see. It's very late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, yeah? no. I've got, the, I've got the shutters down. Um, yeah, yeah. Because it is, it, it is the summertime, so it does get a little warm. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's it's 9.30. The sun's still out. All right, cool. Yeah, it's, uh, it's 12.24 <laughs> over here. It's really early. <laughs> But uh, nah, I just want to say, everyone, thank you so much, man. And uh, I'm probably going to be streaming the Square Enix. Let me see what, what time is the Square Enix today. It's uh, it's later on. But uh, yeah, just want to say thanks, everyone, for watching. Until next time, we're out. Peace. Take care. Peace. Peace out.